Thanks, Rich. May be a link between gum disease and breast cancer, <clears throat> especially among middle-aged and senior women. Researchers analyzed data on about 73,000 postmenopausal women who didn't have breast cancer. About 25% of the participants said they had periodontal disease. So is there a cause and effect? Dr. Scott Ackerman from the Ackerman Cancer Center joins us back here on the morning show to weigh in. Good to have you here. Thank so you, we got to stop short of saying that gum disease causes breast cancer. Correct, correct. What we found in the study was that uh, there was a, about... Uh, 2,000 2, of the 74,000, which is about 2.7% of the women in, the, in that cohort that was looked at, developed breast cancer during the time they looked at all those patients or they evaluated those patients. But if women had gum disease, they had a significantly higher risk of getting breast cancer. So 2.7% of the whole group had breast cancer. But those with, with gum disease, about 7% of them had uh, developed breast cancer. So well, what conclusion can we draw from this? That any bacteria that may be associated with the gum disease somehow finds its way into the body tissue? Well, that's one postulate, is that the uh, bacteria associated with gum disease may actually cause breast cancer. But this study wasn't looking at cause and effect. It was just looking at a, a, a casual relationship between the two things. So we think, we also found in this study that women who, had, who smoked had a significantly higher risk, had gum disease and smoked, had a higher risk of breast cancer. So overall, the group was 2.7%. Those with gum disease was about 7%. But those who had smoked and gum disease had about a 30% risk of developing breast cancer. But, but am I trite in assuming that you know, smoking can lead to gum disease and periodontal disease because of the nicotine and things. And it can also, of course, lead to breast cancer because it leads to other kinds of cancers. Right, exactly. And so that's the, that's the thing is that is, you know, what's causing it? Is it the smoking is causing it? Is it the gum disease? I frankly think that people with gum disease and smokers may have other, um, may, may be laxed in their health otherwise. They, pro mm -hmm. they may lead an unhealthy lifestyle to begin with. And that unhealthy lifestyle could include obesity, which we know a link between obesity and uh, breast cancer. They may, that unhealthy lifestyle might be that they um, uh, uh, drink excessively. Mm -hmm. And so high uh, uh, consumption of alcohol gives a woman a higher risk of breast cancer. Their um, lifestyle may be that their diet isn't, isn't uh, one, it has a lot of plant-based foods. Right. And plant-based foods are better and have a lower risk of developing breast cancer. So maybe that those women who smoke and have gum disease uh, just lead an unhealthy lifestyle in general. And, and that leads to the, the exacerbation of problems. Uh, and, and this isn't the first time, by the way, they've said that gum disease is either an indicator or somehow associated with other health problems. Because I know they've said, you know, you can tell, uh, your dentist can tell you if you might be prone to heart disease or stroke by looking at your gums as well. Right. Lots of other studies have looked at the relationship between gum disease and other medical problems. So we know gum disease has, as you just said, a higher risk of coronary artery disease, congestive heart failure, and stroke. So there's a relationship between gum disease and poor circulation and uh, atherosclerosis, which leads to those problems with the, with the heart and, the, and, and stroke. And again, is it the gum disease or is it the unhealthy lifestyle? Is someone who has gum disease, they don't, maybe they don't lead a healthy lifestyle, they're eating high fatty foods and they're uh, high cholesterol diets, and that leads them to have a higher risk of heart disease and a risk of stroke. So the bottom line here is we need more research. Yes, we will research and lead a healthy lifestyle. There you go. Balance is everything, Jen.